Hey, this is Matt Albert for the Park Sportsbook app. Rich, I want to talk to you about the Super Bowl. Now, we still got, you know, Pro Bowl weekend to get through. Yeah, it's exciting, whatever. Uh, but I want to talk about Cooper Cup and the difference that he is going to make in the Super Bowl. Um, he had an incredible game in the NFC Championship. What were some of your favorite plays that he did have in that game? Well, you know, it's incredible, Matt, when you look at his production. I mean, 11 catches for 142 yards and two touchdowns. Clearly, He's on the same page with Matthew Stafford. They've got a rapport and a relationship. I think they trust one another. I think in a critical situation, look at some of those catches on third down, down in the red zone, at corner route in the in the end zone. I mean, he just – he always seems to make himself available in the big moments. I think you go back to what happened in the regular season. I mean, just their first season together in Los Angeles, uh, and you look at the production, 145 catches during the regular season – just shy of 2,000 receiving yards and 16 touchdowns. I mean, teams have tried to double them. Teams, teams have played a bracket coverage, like an in-and-out coverage with them. Teams have tried to press with the line of scrimmage and give them uh, some choke help with a, with a linebacker and a safety type. I mean, they've done everything, every yeah. possible scenario to try and stop this guy. He's really he's got, he's got he's really a crafty player. I think he understands the coverages really well, whether it's zone or man. He knows how to find the soft spots. He knows how to use leverage. Um, and he's really difficult in a one-on-one -on -one match. But I think that I think the Bengals are going to have their hands full trying to stop Cooper Cup. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of mentioned it. He's a crafty player, but what, you know, he, I mean, it seems like he came out of nowhere. And and what are the, I guess, the qualities of Cooper Cup that make him, you know, really able to have the most productive season of all time at the position? I think the big thing, Matt, is, is he's very dependable. Like, you, you know in a critical situation he's going to do the right thing. That's so important for a quarterback. If he's supposed to run a 16-yard comeback, he's not he's not running at 18. He's not running at 14, which you see with some of these young receivers. He's a very disciplined route runner. He, he does a great job at the top of the stem, at the top of the route, really creating separation. He's really good with moves. He, he does a great job. I, I talked earlier about leverage. He understands where the leverage is coming from. Is it inside out? Is it outside in? And, and he just has a great knack for sitting down in the hole and finding the, the, the gap and the coverage. I think Stafford trusts him. That's really important between a quarterback and a receiver, that you trust that he's going to do the right, right thing. There are certain adjustments that receivers have to run. If it's a man route and he gets zone coverage, there's an adjustment. Uh, if it's a press coverage, the, the, the slant route may turn into a fade. You have to trust as a quarterback that the receiver is going to do the right thing in a critical situation. When you're sitting back there holding the football, you, you can't sit there and take the extra hits, making sure that if you have to anticipate the ball has to come out on time. I think that's what you see when you study Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup on tape. Cooper Cup is a de dependable, reliable receiver that does the right things in critical situations.